Today we're gonna to see if using Gullfoss gives us that good sound button on monophonic dialogue material. Let's roll. All right, we're here in Adobe Audition and I have two pieces of dialogue from set, a male dialogue bit here for you. One is with a lavalier and then the other is with a shotgun microphone. Here is the lavalier. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Here is the shotgun. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma Burn deep. Now, none of these have been treated with any kind of noise treatment or anything. They're just, oh, natural, coming right off. You all uh, off the recorder. You should also notice that both tracks are getting a high pass filter from 90 hertz and down at 48 decibels per octave because there's really nothing below the human voice, uh, below 100 hertz, even in the male voice. So let's turn on a Gullfoss setting here. I'm going to open this up and show you on the uh, lavalier what happens with just a setting that I came up with. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma. Burn deep. Without? May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. With? May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Without? May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Night and day. So let's figure out how to do this. All right, I'm gonna turn this off and show you how to instantiate it. In audition, we don't wanna use clip effects for Gullfoss particularly. We want all of the clips on a particular track to go and get the Gullfoss effect. So we're gonna do track effects, just like this parametric EQ. We're gonna go here and VST or AU, depending on your platform, sound theory and Gullfoss, it happily pops open. Now, what are all these things here? Recover, tame, bias, brighten, and and boost, I call these the B3s. These are the magic of what makes Gullfoss work. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So recover actually brings up frequencies that might be missing, um, that for whatever reason, they're just not there and your brain might wanna hear those in a better way. Tame is the opposite. It brings down frequencies that might just be too much, we, you know, maybe too grating or whatever settings you want. Bias basically is a nice way to select a, a mixing between recover or tame. And then brighten is a really cool high frequency edge that is added to a mix when you use tame or recover. If you're not using tame or recover, not, neither of these do anything. And then finally, boost is an awesome loudness contour type effect that works whether you're using recover or tame. It's just super dope. Let's check it out. So we're back here with the lavalier. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. And we have the LEDs working. Let's add some recover, maybe 100% and see what happens. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Now you can see it's adding these low frequencies and doing kind of a de-essing while adding high frequencies. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma Burn deep. Notice the difference between that and adding 100% of tame. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. It's getting rid of some of the low lows that he's got here, but adding uh, some really beautiful, or rather subtracting some of those frequencies that really aren't so great and leaving the beauty of the rest of the voice. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Especially May look on sharp. May your eyes look sharp. It's really getting that edge of that sibilant down. Generally speaking though, this voice needs more in it than it needs taken out. It's sort of missing some of the body. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Kind of has that flat sound that lavaliers give it. So we're gonna use recover here, uh, maybe a lot. This is, this is a pretty strong setting, 150%. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma Burn deep. But it's doing a good job of managing all this. Now, by the way, you can hold down Alt or Option and sort of do an undo. I can go from here to zero and then recover if I'm, uh, no pun intended, recovering the tame setting. I can go back and forth and toggle these just by holding down Alt and Option, which is a really good way to A-B things. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Now, because this automatic de-essing has happened, I might want to add some brightness. Now, I'm going to use this horrifically loud setting at 100%, but notice the difference. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. In recover, brighten doesn't do that much because it's already doing a boost. But watch what happens if I turn off recover and turn tame back on. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Turn this off. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Now brighten can also go to negative settings. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. So for us, I'm gonna do maybe a 40% here and back to what we had here before around 150% recover. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Super nice. Now let's add a little low frequency and high frequency sheen. We're gonna bring this up maybe to 180 or so. your eyes look so. sharp and your plasma 
burn deep. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Which is super nice. The problem is because we've rolled off all those super low frequencies, Gullfoss in, in the recover setting is still trying to boost something that's not there and you're getting that low flubbiness. But one of the great things about Gullfoss is that if you look closely at this little red line that's here, you see the hertz that are at the bottom, kind of this situation that's right here, if I grab it. If you bring this up, all the frequencies to the left are devoid of processing with recover and tame, which is so great. Now boost, so great. Now boost now still works, but if we put this at 100 hertz, notice what happens. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Down. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Bring it May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. And the same thing over here on the right. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma Burn deep. Super May great. I kind of like it with this edge and with this low, but all together now. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Off. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Night and day. Let's check out the shotgun microphone and see how fast we can make this work. Here's the original. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Sound theory. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma Burn deep. Let's take a listen to what happens here. It, again, this needs recover. You can kind of hear it. it doesn't need things pushed down. It needs things brought up. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Maybe a May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. May Same your right eyes here. look sharp and your plasma burn deep. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. May your eyes look sharp. Now, there's a lot of high frequencies in here. We can bring this deep. down to about here. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. Off. Deep. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn On. deep. May your eyes look sharp and your plasma burn deep. In seconds, you've got great sounding dialogue, which you just can't do with any kind of EQ or compression or anything else, along with DSing built in. It's totally amazing. All right, now let's look at taking Gullfoss across an entire dialogue mix while being mixed with music and sound effects. Let's take a look at this scene with just these stems and see what's possible. Here it is dry. The Megalite shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Security's left. on their way. Seal off that deck frame 43 through 45. Now, there's nothing wrong with that dialogue. It sounds fine. It's obviously been pre-mixed, but it does sound a little flat, maybe a little loud, and, and it's probably what we would expect to see at an independent film festival or something like this. So let's solve this. We're going to do dialogue. This is the whole bus. It's a stem. We're going to do what we know to do, AU or VST, depending on your platform, Sound Theory, Gullfoss, and here it is. We're just going to put this into a nice, happy loop, like so. The Megalite door. shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Just letters. taking a look here. It's not bad, but it just needs some things that are brought up and a few frequencies tamed. So more recover than tame, probably. The Megalite shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Security's letters. on their way. Seal off that deck frame 43 through 45. Captain, that Megalite was... And the sibilants are a little harsh now, so we'll take some of this off the top uh, from these bypass bars. Remembering that the boost works whether you bypass these frequencies or not. It's still going to do its work, so that's nice. The Megalite shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Security's on their way. Now let's listen to it with it off. The Megalite shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. On. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Security's left. on their way. Seal off that deck off. frame 43. Here it is. Off. The Megalite shipment aboard the Lee Destroyer on. is now exposed, Admiral. Son of a bitch. She was right. Single shot ought to do it. We've got calendar breaches on deck four, frame 45. Security's left. on their way. Seal off that deck frame 43 through 45. All of us at cinemasound.com use Gullfoss all the time. We love it. Take a look at some of the videos here on this website to learn how to use it on all kinds of buses and individual tracks, including dialogue, sound effects, music, and even 5.1 surround. Dope. Until then, we'll see you in post. Even if you're